everyone, it's Christy Haig here, and I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how to make a dotted line on your scrapbooking layout in Photoshop Elements. We do that using the brush tool, which is located right over here on the left, and you'll see a bunch of brush options appeared. Um, I am using Photoshop Elements 11, and so my brush options appeared at the bottom. If you have an earlier version of Elements, your brush options are going to appear up at the top of your screen. But you'll notice that you have a choice here to select the type of brush that you want. So we're going to open it, um, and I pulled from the basic brushes menu here, which has starts out with a bunch of circles. doesn't matter which one you pick because we're going to go ahead and down here set the size of the circle that you want. And you can pull up the slider, and then when you hover over your layout, you'll notice how big of a circle you have. And then you can go back and adjust um, again until you find a circle that's the right size that you want. And I would suggest when you use brushes that you always create a new layer. Um, if I were to start drawing with the brush right now, it would be drawing directly onto the background layer, um, and that would change the background layer permanently, and I wouldn't be able to edit it later if I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and click the New Layer button, and you'll see I have a new layer that appears. and when I draw with the brush you'll notice that it just draws one line. And so what we need to do to get it to make a dotted line is we're going to go and click on the brush settings menu and you'll notice that there's a slider called spacing. And I'm going to slide my spacing. I like usually about 200 for my dotted lines. And this time when I draw you'll see that it um makes a dotted line. Now, I picked 200 and that spaces things about evenly where there's there'd be room for a whole dot in between each dot. If you wanted your dot spaced apart further, you would set the spacing at a higher number, and if you wanted your dots closer together, you'd set it at a lower number. All right. Now you'll notice that that was just freehand drawing. If I wanted to draw a straight line, I have a couple of options. Um, the first I'm going to show you is I'm going to click down and hold with my mouse and I'm going to hold the shift key down. Now I'm going to add the shift button and I'm going to draw and you'll notice that even if my hand doesn't draw a super straight line, the um, computer is forcing it to go in a straight line for me. The second fun thing you can do with the shift key is that if you hold the shift key down first and click on the layout, it will click from the last point you clicked. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new layer and try it again down here. I'm going to hold the shift key, click, now I'm going to click up here and it's going to draw dotted lines all the way to that point and then I'm going to click down here and it'll draw dotted lines to that point. It's a fun way of making a zigzag pattern. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and delete those layers and show you what I want to do on my layout. I want to make a dotted border around these two pictures. So I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to zoom in so that I can see the pictures and um, the area that I want to work with. Now using those two options, um, if I want to use the, op the second option that I showed you with the shift, where I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm simply going to click here, and then I'm going to go over here and click, and then I'm going to go down here and click. And I'm going to go down here and click, and back up to the s where I started and click. You'll notice that it got a pretty good border. Things are not spaced super well um, because, well, for example, this one ended right here. And so when I clicked down here, it kind of bent it around to that one. Um, it's really hard, even if you put the guides in, to get them to line up exactly right because you don't know exactly how far the last dot is going to end up popping out. So this one only popped out here, even though I had clicked right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my favorite way and my new layer. I'm going to click right here, add the shift key, and drag across in a straight line and make it as long as I want. And then I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to do my best 
to click it right on top of that one, hold the shift key down and drag down to there. And then because I had it on a new layer, I can use my move tool right here and it helps me to not show the bounding box when I want to do this and then using the um, arrow keys on my keyboard you see I can slide it around and I can slide it until I get it to match up exactly with that one right there. So now I am going to click on one of my dotted lines, hold the shift key down and click on the other so that I select both and because this is a rectangle that I want and I want the sides to be exactly the same I'm going to go to layer duplicate layers okay and you'll see here that it made a copy of both of those layers and now I'm going to rotate them rotate layer 180 degrees and it flipped it to the other side so now I have a dotted border that goes exactly around and before I go ahead and leave that I'm going to hold click on one, hold the shift key down and click on the other end of them so that all four of those dotted lines are selected and link those layers or you could also right click and merge those layers right down here um, if you don't think you'd ever want to edit them again but just in case I decide to um, change the sizing or anything of my pictures I'm going to do it this way and now with them linked, all I have to do is click on any one of them and with my arrow keys I can move all of them together until I get it to look the way I want. So there you have it. Hope that you enjoyed the tutorial on dotted lines on your scrapbooking layout.